Now, let's follow this concept of trying to breathe out all of the way, but these are some more high intensity challenging options. First one sounds kind of funny, but it's using resistance and a balloon or a straw is a great way to introduce resistance. Again, this is a core workout. This is your ab wall. So the idea is when you do it, try to stay tall. You don't want to be rounding your spine too much, but bring the ribs down. And when you do it, don't let your belly pooch out. I want a nice strong ab wall. If you're wondering what your pelvic floor does at the same time, it does a concentric contraction all the way around coming up. So, Breathing out. And you have the option of holding it for a couple of seconds at that point of full exhalation. And then when you breathe in, try not to elevate the ribs. Again, think we're expanding the rib cage. Option two, we use some other muscles to help us get our rib cage into that position of full exhale. If you're lying down and you reach your arms forward, you're going to be using serratus anterior, that reach. What it does is it also presses the rib cage down into the floor, especially in the front, to create that repositioning of the diaphragm. So when you breathe out, you are Taking your time, breathe out all the way. Make sure you're empty completely. All of yesterday's air, I want it all the way out, 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 out. You have the option of holding for a couple of seconds at that point of full exhalation and keep reaching strong, strong, strong ab wall. When you breathe in, keep that rib cage down on the floor. Don't let it pop and come in. We want to keep the tension in the ab wall as you breathe in. And it should be again that delicious, effortless, full breath in. Same position, but using a band to help you increase that tension in the ab wall, especially at that point where you go to breathe in. So if you add some resistance here, still reaching with the arms to get those ribs down, go to that point of full exhalation. Abs, 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 abs. Keep that tension and easy on the inhale. You want to fill in the back. You do not want to let the ribs elevate. Another way to add a little bit more afferent sensory input is to use a kettlebell or a weight in the arms. That gets more afferent feedback into those back ribs. You want your back flat on the ground. You're still going to reach forward, push into the weight up to the ceiling and go find that full exhale. Make sure the belly doesn't pooch. Good. And when you breathe in, don't lose that tension. Nice and easy. Filling back body, side body, pressurizing the core. Good. Prone wall press. So hard. So for this one, I want you to tuck your tailbone down towards your feet. But try to do that not by clenching your bum, but by using your ab wall. Try it. Good. Then I want you to think about your ribs. So those ribs in the front, I want you to think of a scale underneath them and really try to take the weight off of the scale. So try to pull those ribs off of the floor. Good. Now with the most elongated spine from the tailbone to the top of your head, you are going to press your hands into the wall and then try your breath out. Belly pulls off the floor, ribs are off the floor, tailbone is tucked, shoulders are wide. And then when you go to breathe in, don't let those ribs touch the floor again. Just try to breathe in, feel the back body, pressurize your core. Easy inhale, and off you go again. Press into the wall, long spine, tailbone tucked, you got it. Supine wall press, so your back is flat on the ground. You have a long spine. And then you're going to press your hands into the wall. So muscles are going up this way, but your ab wall is going to try to bring these ribs down, getting to that point of full exhalation. So on the breath out, 
Begin to bring those wrists down towards your hips. Belly away from your waistband. Don't let it herdy out good. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. You're pressing into the wall. And when you breathe in, do not let your ribs flare. You should feel that breath going into the floor, pressurizing your core. Again, learning to breathe out, probably the most valuable thing you can do for your core, for your breathing, for your nervous system. Mental, physical health. 